What's up, ladies and je- Oh, we have a new picture! It's it, it's it, it's 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 the child. Okay, all right, we'll roll with this. Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan, aka Ryman, and we have returned to season two of Kado Shoujo. For those of you who are not up to date, season two is apparently my playthrough of Lily, though you would not know from this child. Please don't look into this, FBI, I, I swear. Anyway, Season 1, as you can see, was Hanako. And now, we must continue onward with our bizarre adventures. Please load me. <gasps> Hanako gives a small nod as I put down the cup next to her so side of the board. Lily's hand ventures sideways slightly, so I gently place the cup touching the tips of her fingers. A gesture she seems to appreciate. Hey, yo, bitch! Your drink's in front of you. I finally take a seat and silently sip my tea as the two play. <laughs> I add a lot of class to the, to the scene these two ladies usually play out with each other. I'm a guy. Sue me. The, the country. <laughs> oh, boy. The contrast in their appearances while playing uh, is interesting to watch. Hanako looks closely at the board, her face one of focused concentration. Lily, on the other hand, keeps her head level and maintains her calm neutrality. Lily's gentle voice addresses both of us as she continues to play. <sighs> Get ready for the voice. <sighs> Deep breaths. <sighs> How is class, now that the festival is over? I look to Hanako to see whether she'll answer first, but see she's doing the same. <laughs> Not <coughs> great. Half the class seemed to be dozing off, even including the teacher. The teacher had a hangover! It's how, read between the lines, I've had those teachers. <laughs> oh, they were, they, they were something wonderful. Not to mention the a test on top of all that. Oh yes, Hisao. Life is so fucking hard with test in school and in your heart thing. But oh 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 my heart just bleeds. You know, if my heart bled if my heart did bleed, I'd probably be in the school with you, Hisao. I should probably watch what I say. Hanako quietly adds her own agreement with this. I could imagine that being a bit difficult for you, being a transfer student. Well, I think I did fine. Um, other than the shock of a test coming so early, science was probably my best subject. Mm, mine was history and math in high school. Yes, I know, nerd, shut up. <laughs> How'd you do, Hanako? Me? Uh, okay, I guess. Bullshit, I bet she beat me hands down. Yeah, Hanako's too sincere to be able to pull off flying very well. That much is obvious. Lily smiles slips very slightly from her reaction. Hanako must have been skilled enough at academics to do very well without preparation. I remember this one time in, in college, a story very similar to this. Not really preparing for a test and still, like, acing it. Uh, it was one of my business courses, and one of my classmates happened to be one of my, uh, friends who was... I called I, I called her Puerto Rican Twin B. She was a cute girl and everything. Uh, her, uh, 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 I'm about to sidetrack my own sidetracked story. Anyway... <laughs> We had this uh, exam and everything, and I, I didn't really study for it, because, like, it's business. I don't know. <laughs> Ryan, are you saying you were bored by business when you were business major? It's like, no, I, I sounded bored when I said that, because it's business, so I usually had a head for it and did well. I had a 98. She got a 95, and she was so pissed at me. <laughs> she was like, you don't study! How did you... How did you get better than me? She studied constantly. That's why she was pissed off. 
It was adorable watching her be so so annoyed at me. Uh, you had to be there. You had to be there. Where was I? Oh yes, I was trying to get through a plot here. How did your class handle it, Lily? It went surprisingly well, actually. Only one student was absent, which was better than what the teacher expected. I wonder who that was. With the topic all but run dry, the two concentrate on their chess game once again. I can't say I've ever liked the idea of chess as a, as a spectator sport, but given its unique nature, for once I'm um, wrapped in watching the game unfold. As time wears on, none of the pieces have fucking moved! <laughs> Both of them de demonstrate decent skill at playing the game. Having captured two more pawns than Hanako, Lily has the upper hand, but only slightly. Alright, I have an idea. I want someone to roll with me on this. We televise chess as a highly competitive sport, but, but, the announcer, we get one of those crazed Spanish announcers that they usually use for soccer games. Tell, actually, never mind that. Hold on a second. We can go one more. Crazed Spanish soccer announcer for any activity. You put that motherfucker in for golf. He will get me hyped up to go golfing myself. Until Hanako makes a strange move with her queen. Seizing upon this lapse in judgment, Lily takes the, the piece with her knight. Without hesitation, Hanako moves the pawn to take Lily's rook on the opposite side of the board and promotes it to queen does anyone else find a little jarring by the way sidetracked again haha <laughs> find a little bit jarring how i go on these side rants and then just casually go back to reading it's a little weird lily's face <laughs> i fucked up my own joke i try to do it like so casually lily's face falters as her fingers move move over the pieces, and she realizes that she just fell into a Hanukkah's trap. It's a little distracting to have the board traced out after each move, even out of necess necessity. Judging by Hanukkah's lack of reaction, she must have she must be used to this. She and Lily must have played at least a few games of chess against each other, after all. Check. That's not bad at all. Nice, Hanako. At this point, I would have flipped the board. The comedy causes her to, to flower to surprise blush. Th th thank you. I, I didn't th think it would work. I look over to Lily. Her fingers, uh, having just finished tracing out the, the position of her remaining pieces, and attempt to extricate her king from this bind. I think this is checkmate. Hmm? I take another look at the board to confirm. Sure enough, her king has nowhere to escape without being threatened by another piece. My earlier question as to which of them is better at this has just been answered. So it is. Lily gives a small sigh as Hanako smiles. From their reactions, it seems like a fairly usual result. How long have you two been playing? Since I was young. Lily nods at Hanako's brief answer. Hanako taught me how to play soon after I met her. I can beat her every now and then, but that's a rarity. I don't seem to have the, the right mindset for it. If Lily came to Yamako at the start of high school and met Hanako when she moved to the dorms, that means she's only been playing for about one year. After seeing Hanako's level of play, I'm not too surprised Lily has trouble beating her. But she's better at languages than I am, so yeah, that's a that's a good trade-off. Uh, right. Lily gives an appreciative, if slightly amused, smile on Hanako's quick reversal of her compliment. Well, that's how it is. Much to everyone's surprise, the bell suddenly rings. Heralding at the end of the lunch break. Hmm. 
The game lasted longer than I thought it did. Same. I guess we better get back to class. Hanako's already in the middle packing up, so I take Lily's bag and offer it to her. To my surprise, she takes it and nods, but then places it back down on the table. Hisao, may I make a request? Sure! Go ahead. Would you mind if I were to quickly feel your face? I don't know if me gusta. Look. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna love with you people. I know exactly what this is. It's a blind person's way of, of just seeing just seeing. <laughs> it's a it's a way of a blind person to check what your face looks like. Alright? It's like a shark. Now, a shark has no hands. A shark need, <laughs> needs to use its own mouth to figure out what something is. So a blind person needs to use their hands. I don't know where I'm going with this. The point is... It still took me by surprise. <laughs> this is me of all people. You know what... It, what do you want to imagine? How, oh, Lily can only imagine what my face would be if it's just... I was suddenly asked, can I feel your face? <laughs> Don't feel my face. At least she asked permission. <laughs> oh, man. I think in reality, if I ever knew a blind chick and she did ask me that question, I would be like, you know what? Let's keep it a mystery. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm already working on the positives that you don't you don't know what a mess I look like. I don't need you to feel the mess that I am. Let's not have you go running screaming yet. Oh, uh, 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 no, 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 go ahead. I, I, I don't mind. The question takes me severely off guard, but once I regain my composure, it seems sensible enough. So far, Lily's had no idea what I actually look like. Let to me, I would keep it that way. And this would be, and this would be your only way to find out. Oh, but why does the picture have to be so adorable? Is she doing the face-off thing to me? <laughs> For those of you who thought I would never make a face-off reference on this channel, BOOM! <laughs> That's what she's doing the face-off thing! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I had to cut and take a moment to regain myself. I'm good now. For those of you who don't know, in face-off... John Travolta's family, that's a thing with them. I don't know why, but it's a thing with them. Where they would, like, run their hands down the, the other person's face. I don't know, it's like a symbol of their love. So, like, whenever you do that to someone, you just gotta... You or the person receiving it's gotta go, Oh, face off. Um, oh, I'm doing it to myself. Like, it's like, like, oh, face off. <laughs> 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 oh, man, I'm gonna be sent to an, I, to a, like, to an oil rig prison now with magnetic boots. Lily. <laughs> I can't get over it. She's doing the face off. Lily raises her right hand, which I take. <laughs> I need another minute. Hold on. Okay. 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 I can do this. I am a professional. Lily raises her right hand, which I take in mine and guide to my face off before letting go. 
into the room. <laughs> the room is entirely silent as Lily Hand moves over and around my features. From my chin to my cheeks to everywhere else. I need to get off this. It looks adorable. I would frame this and hang it in a room. <laughs> but... <laughs> I need to get out of here. I expect <laughs> I expected this to feel a lot more disquieting than it does. I suppose that's because the action is entirely a matter of uh, practicality, being functionally uh, no different to simply looking at someone's face. The hand is soft, but what makes her takes me by surprise is the length of her fingers. Not to mention. I'm trying to catch my breath as I read this now. I'm sorry. Not. <laughs> Not to mention <clears throat> how sure even the slightest of her movements are. I have no doubt that her level of tactile feeling would be far beyond mine. Yeah. Look, I, I have big fucking hands. Can you imagine what if I was blind? Would that be like for the other person? <laughs> that would be a face. <laughs> like I'm blind. I need to feel your face. Hold on. Oh, face. <laughs> I'm okay now. I promise you, I'm okay now. <laughs> It's only now, too. Wait. I'm sure that every inch of my face has been committed to her memory. Wait. I, I, I'm... <laughs> Go back further. Her hand briefly runs once through my hair before retreating. I'm so glad I washed the damn thing. <laughs> I'm sure that every inch of my face has been committed to, mem to her memory. It's only now, too, that I realize Hanako's been silently watching this entire time. Okay. okay, we made it! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> Thank you for letting me do this. So you're welcome! Bullshit! I don't believe your lies! <laughs> And if I might add, I think you're quite handsome. <laughs> I don't believe your lies. I blush a little at her remark before raising a questioning eyebrow. But if you can't see how... Just because I can't see, that doesn't mean I don't have my own preferences. Um, we'd better go now. <laughs> I feel awkward too, Hanukkah, if I just watch two of my friends face off each other. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I guess we'll see you later. I promise I wouldn't do that again. Walking through the hallways back to our classrooms, I notice that Hanako seems quieter than before. But also more comfortable. <clears throat> Lily, her hand on Hanako's shoulder, seems to pick up uh, her assured pace as well, smiling as they walk. If I could spend the rest of my time at Yonko like this, I don't think it'd be so bad. All that's needed for joy or small exchanges of happiness, after all. <clears throat> As I reach my desk and set my bag beside it, I realize something. Or rather, my stomach does. You forgot to fucking eat, didn't you, Hisao? You dumb motherfucker! <laughs> Oh my 
my god. Oh my god. He forgot to eat. <sighs> Moving on. That's what you ended on! That's what you ended on! That's what you end the chapter on! We had a face-off and you end with, I forgot food! <laughs> I love this game! <laughs> 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 Face off. <laughs> Saturday, <clears throat> my second most favorite day of the week. That is almost entirely due to the fact that is the that is the. That is the day with the second least amount of school, with class ending the beginning of lunch. I open my door confidently, myself being more than uh, than confident of being able to get enjoyment out of the fine weather and shorter class length. I confidently stride down the hallway and down the stairs to the lobby of the male dorms, strutting as we go along. I confidently look behind me to see whose footsteps are approaching. This can only be our main man! I lose my confidence in this day being enjoyable. Yes, Kenji! <laughs> hey, man. Sup? Do we face off now? <laughs> Not much, I guess. Just looking forward to the afternoon. You? He wraps an arm around my slumped shoulders far too comfortably. Something's up. Let's step outside, shall we? I was just about to before you stopped me. He doesn't take my reaction to his theatrics well. Ignoring him, I walk outside and start down the steps. It doesn't take too long for him to catch up with me again. I wonder if he wants money, or to rant about another conspiracy. Maybe both. I've got a bone to pick with you. What's my time? I've got 15 minutes. Well, I don't have that much longer to record. i got 15 minutes to a meeting, but i I got enough time to do this. <clears throat> Uh-huh. It's about that blonde. You know who I'm talking about. Conspiracy it is. For a moment I contemplate uh, feigning ignorance, but realize this will go quicker if I just let him get it all out. Lily? The one from your class? I'm surprised you recognize anyone figuring that you are legally blind. You're on first name terms with her? Dude, we faced off. You don't understand. <laughs> he looks positively shocked at this development. Did he not expect me to be able to answer? He gathers himself and coughs into his fist, dramatically like everything he does. Well, never mind that. I'm here to warn you. You know, man to man. Warn me about what? Lily? Yeah, you don't know her, man. It's mostly true. <clears throat> I've only known her and Hako for less than two weeks, and even though, and even then, we've just been exchanging annual chatter about school as we, as we while. You want to take that again, Ryan? I know you had a stroke just then, but you want to try that again? Yes, Ryan, I think I will. Thank you for asking. And even then, we've just been exchanging banal chatter about school. Ooh, as we while away... 
as we while away lo Okay! I don't, I don't know if I am having a stroke, or... <laughs> mm. I'm pretty sure you don't either. That's not the point. <laughs> You're the one spending inordinate amounts of time with her. It detests me that someone like Kenji, who's probably as far out of the loop as one could possibly get, knows about such a trivial fact as who I choose to befriend. Then again, I'm a transfer student, and she's not the only uh, representative of their class. But also a tall blonde. Maybe I should appreciate the, this ranting as a warning that the rumor mill exists in this school, and that I'm firmly within it. It's just lunch. Nothing special. To his out, brother! Just say you're infiltrating ranks and going undercover or something, please. You will get through this a hell of a lot faster. Look, man. Under the bridge. See this bridge? You're under it. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do to get intel. Did you just... Did you hear me? Did this game become sentient too? Is Monica gonna pop out from the tree over here? <laughs> I just want to make sure you don't end up too far under the bridge. You're losing me, Kenji. That's okay. Lots of people get lost. That's why I'm here to help. Just be careful around her, okay? She looks all harmless on the outside. But I've heard shit. Bad shit. You know the student council, right? Oh, God, do I ever. He seems to involuntary sh involuntarily shudder as he says the words. Putting him and Shizune together in a room is an amusing mental exercise. I wonder if they've met... Yeah. Shizune and Misha are in my class. I seem to have dodged the draft, though. Good man. Good man. I am a good man. <laughs> but this blonde? She was there. In the student council. Right? Damn. There. I see. And... And she's not there now. <laughs> Ellipses. Seriously. Think about it. Something must have gone down. I stopped walking for a moment. Giving the idea more thought than I probably should. It would explain the, that fight the two had. At least in part. Wait, no, not really. Even leaving the student council would need a catalyst. In the end, it doesn't explain much at all, other than the fact that their feud goes back some ways. I guess you have a point. I'm not seeing how that really affects me, though. Okay, now feel this one. Lily's foreign, obviously. Please. Tell me on top of everything, he's a racist. <laughs> oh, man. Obviously. <laughs> oh, composure. <clears throat> now, what nationality is she? If I'm remembering right, isn't she Irish? I'm trying to remember, was that, I think that was mentioned in previous, in season one, yeah, right, I opened my mouth to give the answer, but I realized that I have none, in fact, I've given the matter very little thought, given that she has no accent and acts perfectly Japanese, I suppose it never really seemed important, now that he mentioned it though, I am rather curious, to be honest, I don't know, maybe English? They like tea. Is that racist? 
I'm not opening that can of worms. I probably shouldn't resort to stereotypes. Too late! But that's the only lead I have. You're not thinking. Luckily, you have me here to think for you. Gee, thanks. He brushes off the quip effortlessly. Now answer me this. Now riddle me this. Who has lots of social power? Is filthy, stinking, rich. You know, blondes are... Wait. Are you serious with this one? Uh, you know blondes are all rich, right? Has a long history of disputes, and you to belong to a much larger organ... Please tell me she's mafia. Please tell me she's mafia. <laughs> Wait a minute! Blaze mentioned- I think Blaze put this in a comment! Something about her being a vampire and a mafia member. Please tell me she's part of the vampire mafia! <laughs> the Roman Catholic Church Crusader works too! <laughs> well, okay, there's that. <laughs> yeah, she's a vampire mafioso! This confirms it! Oh, this is a good route! <laughs> but there's also the Mafia! Come on, rich, foreign, there's no way she doesn't have connections to them. I have reason to doubt the logic of his deductions, but he shows no signs of stopping. So, do you know where I think she's from? Italy? Even though the moff wait, didn't the mafia originate from Sicily? Oh, 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 okay. The man has read. The man had. The man is cultured. <laughs> Mainland Italy, small time, dude. She has to be from Sicily. All those mafioso types come from there. Wait, no. Russia. Damn, this could be bad. The Mafia, they're a serious businessman. XKGB everywhere, paramilitaries, hardcore smuggling, and... Wait, 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 stop. Just slow down a second. What point are you trying to get at here? You don't know what she'll do, man. I won't get in your way. Agents don't operate like that. But I just want to warn you. I just want you to be careful. When the time comes, we'll need all the help we can get. I don't want to lose you, comrade. Oh, well, at least he's concerned for me. Kinda? I wave goodbye to him as we separate to our respective glasses, but I'm not sure that he sees a gesture. Okay, oh my god, oh my god. I need to stop here, I have so much to digest. Folks, if you had any enjoyment whatsoever watching me fumble my way through Kato Shoujo, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, not only of this bizarre adventure, but a whole bunch of other bizarre adventures that I go through. Follow the Facebook page if you want to keep up with all the news and the content that I post on there. It's so enjoyable shit. You won't be disappointed. You might be disappointed. And also, if you want to be part of a growing, friendly community of like-minded and yet deranged individuals hop on and join the ryman gaming discord channel all links for this shit is in the description below hold on <coughs> anyway folks i want you to stay awesome out there adios